Hey, it's Britt. You may have noticed I don't have a beard. That's because Chef Tom is away. He's in Sydney, Australia, cooking at Meatstock. But today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Dutch baby two ways. So you forgot Mother's Day. It's okay, I got you covered. We're gonna make a Dutch baby two different ways, sweet and savory. Let's get started with the batter. So today we're gonna to be using the Anchor Shroom Mixer to make our batter. First thing we're gonna do is assemble it. Today we're gonna to be using the whisk attachments. The first thing we're gonna get in here is our eggs. Next, we'll add three quarter cup of milk. We'll start on low speed just to start and then speed it up until all of the wet ingredients are well blended. Now we're gonna add all of our dry ingredients. We have three quarters of a cup of flour. We have two tablespoons of cornstarch. We have about a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of black pepper. We'll turn it back on, start on low speed, and we're gonna whisk until we don't see any more lumps. So once our batter is ready to go, we're gonna prepare our cast iron skillets. So we've prepared enough batter for two eight inch skillets. We're just gonna melt this butter until it's fully melted. All righty, we'll get our other skillet going. All right, so then we're gonna evenly distribute our batter between the two skillets. Now they're ready to go right onto the grill. Today we are cooking on the Yoder Smoker YS640S. I've gone ahead and preheated it to 420 degrees. So we're gonna put them both on the top rack here for indirect cooking. And we're gonna check them after 30 minutes. So while our Dutch babies are on the grill, we're gonna prepare our toppings. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my plum into small wedges here. rid of that pit. We're going to preheat our skillet to a medium heat. We are going to add one tablespoon of butter. Get that melting. We're going to add our plum slices. We're going to let this cook until the fruit begins to soften. So once the fruit begins to soften, we're gonna add about one tablespoon of sugar. And let these begin to caramelize. We're also gonna add a little bit of water just to buffer the sugar. All right, now that our fruit has uh, caramelized, just beginning to really get that color on there, we're gonna finish with just about a tablespoon of the House of Q apple butter barbecue sauce. And once that is all melded together, we're gonna cut the heat and set it aside. So I've got some uh, peeled and deveined shrimp here that I'm just gonna skewer. Now we're gonna take our Oak Ridge barbecue seasoning. I've decided for the smoky chili lime rub today. And just do a nice light coat on your shrimp. Now it's ready for the grill. 
All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. We're gonna check on our Dutch babies. Oh, and they are looking wonderful. So what we're looking for here is a golden edge browned here, um, as well as it has puffed up with a slight divot in the center. All right, so we're gonna go directly close to this heat source and do about a minute and a half to two minutes on each side. So what we're looking for is uh, opaque in color, not translucent, that beautiful shell pink. And now on to the fried egg. I've got my preheated skillet here. I'm gonna well oil it with some uh, canola oil. All right, we're gonna gently crack our egg into the hot pan. All right, once our white is completely cooked through, we'll transfer it right on top of our Dutch baby. We'll garnish with our grilled shrimp. And some watercress. And a simple chive dressing, which is just sour cream, thinned out with a little heavy cream, and lots of chives. For our second Dutch baby, we're gonna go sweet. We're gonna add our plum topping. We're gonna add some fresh prosciutto. And you can go fresh or crispy whatever you prefer. I have some fresh uh, pea shoots here. And we're gonna finish with a little drizzle of honey. So you can top your Dutch baby any which way you prefer. Um, today I decided to do a savory version with shrimp, watercress, a sour cream chive dressing, and a fried egg. For the sweet version, I opted for cooked plums um, with a savory barbecue glaze, uh, fresh prosciutto, pea shoots, and a little drizzle of honey. This is the perfect Mother's Day brunch that you could make on the grill. Make it unique, make it sweet, make it savory, just like your mom. And remember, all of the accessories and tools used today can be purchased at atbbq.com. I'll see you around.